Well, as expected, the government's decision to lump new imported Labour voters in army barracks is costing us a fortune, along with the local council. The taxpayer in general is paying through the nose for everything leading up to them sitting in the Pennerley camp and after it, which is too much before it even starts costing the local council's money. As we know, none of the locals wanted this lumped upon them, so why should they now be footing the bill through council tax because this government still does nothing about immigration? It has been almost a month since Brexit, and guess what? None have gone, but another few hundred have arrived at least. We now also have the Pennerley camp residents being moved into hotels because they pissed and whined about living in an army barracks. Funny how those barracks are good enough for our soldiers, but not good enough for people apparently destitute and in need of help. You literally couldn't make this shit up. The people in charge of the local council are as bad as the home office at this point, though, no, constantly moaning about the conditions in the camp while skirting around the fact that the local community wants them gone. Actually, skirting is being a bit too charitable. They completely ignore it because they only care about the people who have no right to be here, not the locals who pay their wages. The only thing these snivelling shit weasel councillors and MPs should be coming out with in relation to this camp is the fact that it puts their constituents in danger. That is all they need to say. This camp is dangerous to the health and community of our local citizens, including children, so that is all they need to say, really. But obviously, they don't come out with any of that. Instead, they run around screaming about how these army bases are not good enough for these illegal immigrants. This just pisses me off. The police also are an utter joke after allowing them to walk around protesting without a care in the world, when we all know if the locals staged an anti-lockdown protest or anti-migrant protest, the battens would be out ready to crack some skulls. Two-tier policing is rife all over this country and it makes me sick. Now apparently, they are dispersing the penalty camp around the country, so we can expect that all of them have been given the right to stay here, or will do so shortly, as pretty piss poor Patel and Boris Johnson are clearly not doing anything about immigration, except of course letting more in. I guess that is the Tories for you though, 11 years of government claiming they will bring down immigration when it goes up year on year. Not that shocking to me, but I expect Tory voters might be a little surprised because Boris promised to cut immigration, when the only thing he has cut is your freedoms and right to see your family. But hey, at least you get to pay for half the world's illegal immigration and feel good about yourself in their eyes. Now, as I said, Pembrokeshire Council have been paying £55,000 a month on the camp, which they are going to try and get back from the government, and to be honest, I really cannot blame them. This is obviously no small figure we are talking about here, but I have to say, why should the rest of the country pay for this shit show also. Surely the Home Office should just send them home right now. Human rights laws no longer matter as we know. The government has shit all over the Human Rights Act by locking us in our homes, closing businesses and ending our freedom to live as we see fit. All of which is against the European Convention on Human Rights, or should be, but it seems the only time you hear about human rights lawyers is when it relates to them finding a way to keep an illegal immigrant in the UK. You don't hear about it in relation to anything else, that is for fucking sure. Now on top of this report about the cost of the camp on the local community, there is an inspection due to be carried out by an independent immigration and border chief official. That is asking for evidence from local stakeholders about the camp, so if this is you, then I suggest you get your views across to them. I will link the article talking about this down below. It likely won't help in any way as they will just call you far right, but what else is new there? Anything is better than nothing. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>